Today I want to test my dog's IQ. Lennox is two years old. He's an English Cocker Spaniel. I have a suspicion that he's pretty smart, but maybe all dog moms say that. So let's put him to the test. This is a famous video on YouTube and I'll reference the original video. The first test is observational learning. So I'm gonna get up, go get Lennox's leash as if I were to go for a walk with him or leave the house. And if he follows me, he would get the highest mark. If he doesn't, then the, the marks go down as how much time it takes for him to react. So let's see what he does. You need to put your boots on too. Yeah, he did it that way. He followed you and he jumped on you. And now he's crying for you. Okay, you're the smartest dog in town, but... The second test is problem solving. I'm going to put a treat under a can like that. And we're gonna see how long it takes him to knock it over to get the treat. Okay, mom, I got a treaty. Okay. Does he stay? Stay. Put in the treaty. just he's afraid of the can so he's not sure if he can do it or not he also wants me to do it for him <laughs> i think he wants me to do it for him that's why he's looking at me oh my god how did he get it i think he knocked his nose like that Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna take the first test obviously four minutes test number three is attention and environmental learning so we're supposed to move a bunch of furniture around the room that he's familiar with so the living room and having him not be in the room while that that's happening and then letting him in the room and he's supposed to kind of start smelling things that are not where it's supposed to be and we're gonna time him as well. He didn't notice the guitar is there. No. He didn't, know he didn't notice that his bowl is different. No. So I guess he scored three on this one. Kind of like average. This is another problem solving test. We're gonna drop a towel on his head and see how he how fast he can free himself. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> like half a second. Now for social learning, I'm supposed to ignore my puppy for a while until he calms down. Then just look at him and smile and see how long it takes for him to come to us, if at all. Oh boy, you didn't get that one! <laughs> okay, it's so cool. Problem solving again, I'm 
we're gonna hide the treat under this towel. It's kind of like a can test, but it's supposed to be harder. Okay! You got it, how much? 30 seconds? Okay, yeah. let's see his score. You got it, boy, you're so smart. <laughs> no, he's like, don't bother me, I'm gonna eat my thing. This is a short-term memory test, so I'll put a treat down. I'll hide a treat where he sees me hiding it, like at a spot he sees me hiding it. I'll take him out of the room with me, then back in the room, and it's how fast he gets to that hiding spot. Ooh, yes. So where should I put it? Come on, mama! Come on, mama! Come on, mama! Come on, come 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 we're doing a long-term memory test. It's exactly the same test, except that I'm gonna take him out of the room for five minutes. Here's another problem solving. We're gonna hide a treat under this device. He's supposed to use his paws to go and get the treat and not be able to have his head go under so and see how long it takes. You got it. Six seconds. Six seconds? Yeah. Good boy, you're so smart. <laughs> this next one is language comprehension. So we have to figure out if he Response to tone a voice or if he responds to his own name. Telephone. Movie. Linux. Linux. <laughs> you're so smart. You know your name. <laughs> you're so smart. <laughs> Mama loves you so much. I was surprised with that. I thought as soon as I would talk to him, he would come because he was he's very ex excitable, like he's very playful. So I thought he would come at the first sign of attention. This is a more complex problem solving. So we created a situation here where he will be on this side, I will be on this side with a treat. So he'll be seeing me putting the treat down but he won't be able to reach across. He's gonna have to figure out to go around it to get the treat and how long it takes to do that. Okay. <laughs> how long did that take? Like two seconds. <laughs> this next one is called learning process and it basically counts how long it takes for a dog to learn a new command. So there's a procedure to follow. The command is gonna be for the dog to come sit in front of me using the command front. Come. Sit. <laughs> it's behind you. <laughs> Not quite. So I have to teach him ten more times, right? Yeah. I tried to teach him like 
10 times and see what it does. Front. Uh-huh. Front. You didn't do that. Did you want to know how smart you are, bud? Okay, let's see. It's divided in seven categories, so the very best would be a brilliant dog. And then you have very intelligent, high average, average, low average. And the two last categories are better put than what I'm about to say, but basically it's dumb or very dumb. But it doesn't measure cuteness. Cuteness accounts for a lot. So. Lennox, you are pretty smart, bud. He scored high average. So not brilliant, not very intelligent, but high average. It's good enough for me. I love you, buddy. You're so smart and so cute. <laughs> and he got so many treats. One thing I'll say is that with the can test, he was afraid of the tin because of the noise and all that, and he scored one. If he scored better on the can test, which he scored really well with the towel and it's supposed to be harder, he would have been very intelligent. So in my book, he's really super extra smart. If you want to get an English Cocker Spaniel, highly recommend it. They're extremely affectionate, beautiful, cuddly, they're perfect and very smart. I made two videos with Lennox if you're curious. The first one is when we first got him, he was this small. And then I made, I think a six month update. So you can go and watch those. Thanks for watching.